Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. I've always been a winner. I've always been on the grind. Like money on my mind. Gotta keep it. Gotta hustle over time. Yeah, all the time. Ooh. Laser range finder. Okay. Can be weapons mounted. We got it on a vertical bow here. Nice. We got it on a crossbow right over here. Okay, okay. Now, can you see? Let's see here. Get past that big bald head. Oh yeah, I catch everything. That is crazy. Yeah, it's got a range finder built into it. Pretty cool. It's the first one for our tree. That's cool. We've got a little, we're calling it a game recovery, but it's shot, you can mount it on a shotgun, 30 millimeter shotgun. Mount. That's awesome. <laughs> 
drifter, you change color palettes. You'll find it. Oh, wow. Pretty cool little toy. Fits right in your pocket. That is cool, man. That is cool. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate you. you. I'm gonna go get a close up of the boat with uh, with you guys' optic mounted on it. Stunt car number three, John Wick's car, holy crap. Pristine, first dip, and the left rear quarter panel, and the door gets caved in, and then the door, and then the front end. Wow, that's cool, man. My car is originally a hero car, which is perfect. I'm sure. The camera car, with all the camera out. Got in that one, the Chevelle, and this one. We sold this one. We sold the Chevelle, and the camera car, I think I heard it from the museum in France. Nice. This is the only one that's Dude, awesome, man. That is badass. Yeah, I'm trying to start going to get restored and all, just keep it like it is, as it is. No worries, brother. Uh, as a, 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 a businessman, what what would you say was your hardest your hardest hardship building Texan to what it is now? Like that milestone that just defined what your company was. That's a good question. I think um, I don't know. That's a that's a tough question. It's that, a good one. It's a really good question. I think one of the things that was difficult, like in the process of building the Texan, developing the Texan. I wasn't with the company when the Texan was released, okay. but I have been with the company since we've done all the updates and the iterations and everything, right? Okay, okay. So part of it is just the development process. And it's like taking stuff, building it, and then having it not work out the way you want it to work out, right? And yeah. Then, so it's like okay, back to the drawing board and. And just sticking with it, and keep you know, keep working at it to get it right. And then once you do get it right, it's also a matter of making sure that it's going to consistently be right for the customer, right? So mm -hmm. just because it works one time doesn't mean it's always going to work one time. So we we take a, a lot of pride in making sure that our product is something that people can go out and hunt and be successful with on their own. Thank we you. don't want it something to be. You know, oh yeah, well, somebody could do it if they're a sponsored shooter. No, we want everybody to have the same experience with the product. So, making sure that it's something that we can 
reliably release and making sure that it's 100% before it goes to the customer. So that's something that, I mean, we that makes sense. took I a like lot that. of time, you know, to, no, to work yeah, man. through and, and overcome. But I think that, was with, specifically with the Big Four line, was, was a lot. But I think an Air Force as a whole, I mean, it's just, there's a lot. I mean, I mean you guys are one of the few few American companies that are yeah. just doing big things that nobody just can compete on your level. And we appreciate you Thank for that. You. Thank you, man. Now, the second question, man, which is the last one is, uh, do you have any advice for the viewers, man? That anybody, if for people in the air gun industry and people are trying to, you know what I mean, make, make something of their business? Any yeah. advice? I think um, one of the biggest things that I often compare the air gun industry as you know, everybody talks about like, oh, it's a lot of, you know, it's a, it's a big pond with a lot of fish. I always say that the air gun industry is a very small pond with <laughs> a lot of very big fish. Yes. And so I think it can be for guys who are like just getting into it or they have an idea and they're like, hey, I want to develop this, I want to do this. It can be pretty uh, intimidating, right? Like, yep. And one of the things that I love about the air gun industry is how approachable it is. Like you can show up at RMAC or, you know, any other event or something like, you know, NRA. I don't want to say shot because shot's an industry only event, but you can show up at other, you know, shows. You can meet everybody that you see online, on YouTube and blogs and, you know, on American Air Gunner, all that kind of stuff. Heck and yeah. they're around, right? Heck yeah. And so it's like, man, it can be pretty intimidating because you think all of these people have this huge following or all these companies have these huge <laughs> manufacturing capacities. Everybody started somewhere, you that know, and so. I think uh, sticking with it, and if you if you want to do it, and you think that what you're doing is the best thing out there, make it the best thing out there. You know. Hell yeah, man. I don't know. I'm not somebody people come to for advice like that. No, I appreciate. It. I think that was so. pretty on point, man. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you, man.
wanna be a part of something more than this I've lost control of it oh. In the stars, reminds me of you oh, oh, oh. You left me with scars, but I know that one day You'll see it through I'm sure I love it.